Hey guys, welcome back to another new video and today I want to share some really useful One UI 5 tips and tricks. Before we begin, please make sure that you have hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Also, if you find this video good enough at some point, do hit the like button as well. Alright, I would like to start off with the most uh, useful tips first of all. So, uh, we can take a look at the lock screen customization first. In the One UI 5, you can completely customize the look of the lock screen of your Samsung smartphone. Now, there are two ways to access the lock screen customization. One when your phone is unlocked and one when your phone is locked and it's on the lock screen. Let me show you the first method when your phone is unlocked. Long press on an empty area anywhere on the screen and you have the wallpaper and style options here. And here you have two screens now one is the home screen and one is the lock screen click on the lock screen and you can access all the lock screen customization options okay so i'm going to lock the phone and now when the phone is locked i can long press anywhere on the screen and it will ask me to unlock the phone and when i unlock the phone it directly takes me to the lock screen customization okay so let's talk about what you can do in the lock screen customization first of all you can directly pick a wallpaper for the lock screen by clicking on the wallpapers option right here we have the clock customizations now here first of all you can select the font that you want to use for the clock here uh, these are actually the new clock styles and you can also replace the digital clock with an analog clock right here we have some analog clocks and you can even add a custom clock face by clicking on this option that i just clicked on we have some really cool clocks here uh, you can even create a clock face with your own image in it you can do whatever and however you want you can also change the colors for all these clock faces you have these color options right here select the color of your choice or you can even create custom colors by choosing the colors from these hex codes or from the spectrum given in the lock screen customization now next up we have these notifications if we click on the notifications you can see that we have the options to select the icons only or the details we can select the transparency of the notifications and we then have the auto reverse text color as well and lastly you can directly add or remove the contact information from the lock screen customization and these lock screens shortcuts can be customized as well you can remove or add new shortcuts by just tapping on these shortcuts from the lock screen customizations that is all with the lock screen customization uh, let me show you the new color palette options for the wallpapers just long press on an empty area and go to wallpaper and style and right here we have the color palette we have some new options for the color palette we have the new colors here basically a lot of new colors that would go in line with your taste the basic colors and then we have the option to apply the palette to the app icons as well so it entirely depends on you what you would want to do you can go to the notification toggles and here you can click on this plus button and you will see some new icons appearing right here now i have already added all new options to the toggles so uh, i don't have any new toggles to add here however these are the new toggles that you will find the color adjustment the color inversion and the high contrast fonts color adjustment will basically correct the colors to look better uh, for your eyes and the color inversion as its name suggests will invert the colors you can see that all colors are now inverted these are basically the accessibility options for better visuals on the screen for the people who have vision problems and then we have the high contrast fonts it adds more detail to the fonts the elements look more sharp on the screen let's talk about the next tip the individual call backgrounds back in the day you could set the call backgrounds but you could only choose one background for all of your contacts but now you can assign a different call background to each of your contacts individually so to choose a wallpaper or a background for your desired contact what you have to do is you have to open the contacts and inside the contacts you have to choose the contact for whom you would want to set a custom call background and here you have to click on edit now inside edit you have to click on view more it's appearing right here and scroll all the way down to choose call background now allow it and now you can select a call background for this specific contact you can do this for all of your favorite contacts one by one 
what this will do is every time your favorite contacts call the background will quickly help you determine who's calling you so do check this trick out it's useful you can now stack the widgets of the same size over each other you can see that i have a number of same sized widgets on the home screen of my phone what i can do is i can drag a widget and drop it over the top of another widget and it will automatically create a stack let's see how it works here i have successfully created a widget i had already added some widgets here so you can just swipe through all the widgets you can edit the widget stack as well by long pressing and clicking on the edit stack and you can see that we have all these widgets right here and you can add new widgets from here as well there is another really useful widget uh, in the samsung galaxy phones with the one ui5 update which is the smart suggestions this basically suggests you the actions and applications based on your usage so it often happens that i need to access the application that i usually use and it just pops up right here on the top inside the smart suggestions so this helps me save a lot of time as i do not have to go into the application drawer to open the application how you can enable the smart suggestions is by going into the widgets and inside the widgets you will find the smart suggestions right here it's a 4 by 2 widget you can enable it and put it on the home screen of your phone but just in case you want to disable the smart suggestions you can just long press on smart suggestions go to the info and disable the smart suggestions for good you can enable the smart suggestions once again by going to the additional features inside the settings of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone okay in the one UI5 we get the Samsung routines inside the settings routines are not new it's just that Samsung has highlighted the routines so that you can access the routines and the routines actually become common in the settings you can find this option called modes and routines modes are basically the predefined modes like sleep driving exercise relax work you can just set up some settings inside these modes and enable the mode so that your phone acts according to the mode that you are in for example if you are asleep and you don't want any notifications or anything to come up on the screen the sleep mode will help you with that and if you are driving and you want the android auto to automatically turn on you want you want the bluetooth volume to stay full on the phone you can do all such things in the driving mode uh, and same goes for other modes but if you want to create a custom routine you can go to the routines and you can click on this plus button right here and the routines work based on the if and then conditions so for example my phone runs on 120 hertz all the time but what i want is when i am watching a movie in netflix or i am watching some youtube videos i want the screen refresh rate to drop down to 60 hertz so what i can do is i can go to the if and here i can select the application if the app is open okay so i am going to choose the app like netflix and youtube okay so if the app netflix or youtube is open then i want the screen refresh rate to go down to 60 hertz standard so what this will do is as long as i am watching youtube videos or a movie in the netflix app the screen will operate at the standard refresh rate and this will help me save battery now you can create any kind of routines you want for example you want to put your phone on charging and while your phone is charging you want the wifi to turn off you want the always on display to turn off as well you can do all that inside the routines if the phone is connected to a certain wifi connection and while your phone is connected to that wifi network you don't want certain things to happen on your phone you can just set that up you can totally do that so go ahead give the routines a try these are among the coolest features of the samsung galaxy phones so make sure that you do give these a try i have already done a detailed video on how to save the battery of your phone via these bixby routines do check that video out as well okay let me show you some tricks for the multi windows and the split screen now first of all there is a new way to access the notifications now for example a notification has come up on twitter for me and i want to open twitter in the split view or in the pop up view what i can do is i can long press the twitter notification and i can drop the twitter notification either here on the screen to launch twitter in the split window over the top of another application which will actually launch the multi window 
or I can drop it in the middle of the screen to launch it as a pop-up view. This can be done with pretty much any application that supports multi-window split view or the uh, pop-up view. You can just long press the icon of any application and drop it anywhere on the screen to launch either in the multi-window or in the pop-up view. Okay, so another way to launch application in the multi-window is by going into the recent applications panel and long pressing the icon of any application and then dropping it anywhere on the screen to either launch it either in the multi-window or in the pop-up view just like this. If I launch it in the multi-window or the split view like this, I can open another application alongside uh, the Twitter app that I just opened. Uh, I just accidentally opened the Citibank application, but this is how it's going to work for you. You can now directly copy the OTPs from the pop-up notifications appearing on the screen of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. For example, when a notification just lands in and it pops up on the screen and it has an OTP code inside, you can just click on the OTP code and it will be copied to the clipboard that you can paste later on anywhere uh, where you want to enter that OTP code. This is my favorite One UI 5 feature because it has made my life a whole lot smoother. Let's take a look at uh, the camera feature that was missing on the Samsung Galaxy phones for a while and it has now come back and it has come back even stronger. I am talking about the camera watermark. You can open the camera application and inside the camera application you can go to the settings and here in the settings you will find the watermark option. So you can set a custom watermark. You can either display the phone's name or any other name, your own name, which is the photographer's name. Right here on the pictures, you can display the date and time alongside the watermark. And you can also change the font. You can set a different alignment, different location for the watermark to appear on your pictures. So if you like to display your own name on your photos, go ahead and enable the watermark on your Samsung Galaxy phone powered by the Samsung One UI 5. Let me show you some features in the gallery application as well. You can now merge the albums of the same name. All you have to do is you have to go to the settings and inside the settings you have to turn on the merge albums. It will automatically detect all the albums of the same name and merge the albums to reduce the clutter inside your gallery application. We have the option to create stickers in the gallery application now to create a sticker all we have to do is to click on this edit button and here we have to click on the stickers and inside the stickers we have to click on this gallery icon click on plus and now we have to choose a picture that we want to use as a sticker over the top of another picture for example i want to use this picture i can just uh, draw something here and it will automatically try to create a sticker like this i can click on done and now my sticker has been created and i can add it over the top of another picture that I was already uh, trying to edit. I can even copy this sticker and paste it somewhere else. So this is a really nice and cool, actually a fun trick on the Samsung Galaxy phones in the One UI 5 now. Okay, another new feature uh, in the One UI 5 is the text OCR. You can directly copy the text from the images on your Samsung Galaxy phone now. You just have to open any image with some text in it. For example, I have this image opened up right here. You can long press on the image and you can see that it now allows me to copy this text. And if I click on select all, I can just copy this entire text and I can go to an application like notes where I want to paste this text, open a new note. And you can see that here I can just long press and paste all this text that I just copied from the image that I showed you guys. One of the most useful tricks for the Samsung One UI 5 users is the, for example, you are using English on your Samsung Galaxy phone, but you want to use a different language such as Dutch or Spanish in the Maps application. What you have to do is you have to go to the settings and inside the settings you have to go to the general management and inside the general management you have to click on app languages. Now you can choose any application and for that application you can use a different language for example i am using the system default language here for the chrome app but i can choose any language from the list of these languages and chrome will use that language while my phone keeps using the english 
Samsung has added a really nice trick in the timer of uh, the Samsung phones with the One UI 5 and I did not see many people talking about it. You can now launch multiple timers at the same time on your phone. What you have to do is go to the timer and launch a timer and then you can just click on this plus button appearing right here, select the duration and launch another timer. You can launch as many timers as you want and you can see that I have all these timers here. Now if I go to the home screen or if I just minimize the timer on my phone, the timer that I left open on the top inside the clock application that is going to appear here in the pop-up timer. So if I go back to the clock application and I leave this timer on the top and I minimize it again, you can see that the pop-up timer has changed once again to the timer that was appearing inside the application on the top. So this is a really nice way to track something using multiple timers on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Samsung has now made it easier for the users to access the magnifier. You can just go to the accessibility settings on your Samsung Galaxy phone and inside the accessibility settings you can go to the visibility enhancements and here you can see the magnifier and you can now enable the magnifier shortcut. You can just tap the accessibility button that uh, you can set Press and hold the volume up and down keys for 3 seconds or press side and volume keys. You can just choose the way you want to launch the magnifier. These are the shortcuts that are going to make it easy for you to access it. So for example, I want to use the accessibility button. The accessibility button now appears here and I can just tap it to launch the magnifier and I can just magnify into anything I want. Uh, just like you can see here on the screen. Okay, the last trick for the Samsung One UI 5 owners and the most important one as well. The Samsung One UI 5 enables the support for several good lock modules which includes the camera assistant and registrar. With the camera assistant, you can uh, just manipulate the behavior of your phone's camera a little more. Like you can enable or disable the auto HDR. You can turn off the auto lens switching to make sure that your camera captures 10x zoom images with the optical lens instead of digitally zooming into the image or you can just uh, enable or disable the video recording in the photo mode and even enable the faster shutter. The registrar module on the other hand will let you create shortcuts of anything on your Samsung phone. So if you have gotten the One UI 5 on your phone, make sure to try out all of the new Samsung Goodlock modules to take your Samsung experience to a whole new level. And that my friends is all with the Samsung One UI 5 tips and tricks. If you have got any other tip that I have not shared in this video that you think would be useful for other users, make sure to mention it in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe as well. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.